you're a biology major and you're thinking about which careers you can pursue with your biology degree, then this video is for you. You landed on the right video, so stick around. Hey there, I'm Dr. Nontra. I have a PhD in microbiology and immunology. And on this channel, I give you personal development tips, grad school life tips, as well as how to succeed in biomedicine as a career. If any of that sounds exciting to you, make sure to tap that subscribe button. The first career path you can get into is working in the lab. If you're a biology major, then more than likely you've learned techniques like gel electrophoresis, or ELISA or protein purification, right? So if you've learned these skills, you can actually really leverage these skills to work in a lab that does research, labs that do testing, because all these skills are tools that scientists use every single day. And there are positions within laboratories, whether that is an academic lab or a medical lab or a lab in biotech, where those skills come in handy. And so if you have learned those skills and you want a place to master them and even uh, and contribute to research and contribute to science that's already going on, then working in a lab is going to be a really great career path for you. And also like if you already enjoyed working in a lab whilst you were in um you were in undergrad that's excellent. So I do think that working in a lab is a possible career path for you as a biology degree holder. Now, I will say that being said, I will say that sometimes, not always, but sometimes it can be challenging just as, you know, with no experience at all in a lab to get a lab job after your undergrad, right? So make sure that whilst you're an undergrad that you are like volunteering or you are hanging around lab people or lab areas where you can practice some of those skills that you learn as a biology major because the thing is that just doing it once or twice doesn't make you proficient at it however it does give you a, a you know base knowledge so since you have the base knowledge, go find labs on your campus that labs that are happening because there are labs happening somewhere or in your city and at least volunteer your time there because that's going to come in as a really rich resource once you go to apply for paid jobs after your degree. Second career path you could pursue is go to nursing school. I actually went to nursing school and I absolutely enjoyed it. Um, because originally, if you watch this video right here, originally one of my desires was to pursue medicine. When that wasn't possible for me as an international student, I decided to go into nursing, which ended up being so great. Um, and I say nursing because nursing is very, very, very biology based. You're going to be learning anatomy and physiology and you already do this in your degree. As a biology major, you, you take anatomy, you take physiology, right? You're probably going to be taking some chemistry courses and all of those are prerequisites for getting into nursing school and you are going to need that knowledge in nursing school, all right? So if you already have that, there are accelerated nursing programs that allow you to get a bachelor's degree in nursing in about a year to 18 months. They are all over the country. You can attend one of those. It's very, very quick and accelerated. And usually because it's competitive, you have to make sure that your grades are good enough to get in. Um, so I'm talking about, you know, like make sure you have over a 3.0, um, sometimes even more than that to be able to get into those, uh, those, nurse, those types that specifically accelerated nursing programs or accelerated BSN programs. I think that those are great because within a year or so you'll be done and you'll have a very, very rewarding career. Three is to pursue the path that is usually trodden by bio majors which would be to go to medical school go to pharmacy school go to um dentistry uh go into podiatry go into the chiropractic um go into all of these healthcare provider paths it is possible because all of them are healthcare providing um they are biology based and if you already have a biology degree then these career paths can all be paths that you could pursue you could also pursue teaching now even if you didn't do science education 
as your major because I do know having been to a college where I had, there were a lot of education majors I know that science education is something that is a course um, but even if you didn't do that and you just finished with a biology degree there are teaching certifications that you can go after and I do not know the details of that it differs from state to state you'd have to research the circumstance in your state if you live in the United States um, but you'd have to research that and um, if you live in another country and you're watching me you'd have to research that you know that's what you'd have to do and so that you can pursue that i i teach community college i love it i think teaching is a rewarding career it can be very tiring but i do think it's a rewarding career so um just but right out of um college you could teach high school you could teach um middle school you could teach elementary school science um, and so those are the parts. If you wanted to teach at, at a higher level, like at a, a higher institution, um, usually it requires a master's or a PhD. So if you wanted to do that, then you would pursue those paths. Which brings me to my next career path is going to grad school. All right. So going to grad school offers you actually multiple career paths. And I feel like that's a whole other video. But with a master's or PhD, you can go into things like pharmaceutical sales, biotech sales. You can work um, as a researcher, you can work as a professor at a college, a lecturer. You could um, end up doing medical writing, science writing. You really could end up in various positions. Um, you could end up in consulting. You could end up in actually, you know, tech companies so i do think that going to grad school can offer you multiple opportunities as a biology major now it depends on what you choose to go to grad school for i personally went to grad school for microbiology and immunology and it does open up a lot of opportunities for me beyond just you know being an academic and that's something that people also get wrong the only thing that they can pursue teaching at a university if they are done you know once they're done with their grad school degree but no that's not the case you, you you can pursue other paths it's possible the next one is working in environmental conservation so these would be like your local agencies within your state or within your city um i know parks recreation um you know the, the scientists work in those kinds of environments um but anything to do with environments, conservation, the ocean, biology majors are perfectly suited for those careers. You could also pursue a career in biotechnology. And so biotechnology is simply the application of biology to produce technological tools or equipment that are used, you know, in labs and used in medicine and so on and so forth. And I think these biotech especially offers employees very very good salary packages i think a lot of these careers tend to pay quite well but biotech pays especially well all right and so these are also paths that you can this is actually a path you can pursue now usually um you may not start at the top and you know you won't start at the top but that's okay but what you can do is if you're a bio major right now and you're nearing graduation and you're just thinking about your next steps you can consider all of these but also type into indeed or any other like search engine linkedin type in entry level jobs for biology majors and usually that spits up a lot of jobs that you are very very well suited for sometimes i'll see jobs that say you know phds and ms holders should not apply okay so they really are looking for people like you and going back to what i said if you're volunteering and getting experience outside of just what you're doing on campus that will really put you in a position to get that job after college so if you want to work in environmental conservation go find places where you can volunteer and do that if you want to work in healthcare, you know go volunteer you know like all of these volunteer experiences put yourself in places that will allow you to will make you more competitive that's what i want to say will make you more competitive and more likely that somebody picks up your resume and says yes to you you. If you have any questions about this video, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. But if you have any questions, leave them down below and let me know. <laughs>